hi friends uh, welcome to java express tutorials so today we are going to discuss uh, one of the important uh, interview question difference between the command line runner versus application runner in the spring boot okay so in, if you are watching the first time please go ahead and watch command line runner my previous video i will give you a link in the below video section okay so uh, now you know command line runner if you want to execute a logic like uh, in the previously we created one employee record through a program now this time i want to run this uh, uh, details like first name last name email id and passport number i will give from application arguments at the run time i will provide my details so that uh, i can create the record in database also now there is a syntax difference the functionality will be a same uh, now try to see uh, here this is a this is also one of the functional interface only the difference is just a syntax difference now try to see here there is a run method we have a application arguments as a input so you need to pass a run configuration from your application okay so basically this is also you can execute any type of logic okay uh, before application startup these interfaces get called the run method only once throughout your program now let me open a project okay previously i developed a project a command line runner now what we'll do let me take the backup of this application then we'll apply for application runner now try to see let me copy this project let me paste it here here you can use application runner interface now let me take as a copy uh, now here uh, open the project here organization uh, application name you can change if you want so what i can do now you no need to worry anything just instead of the command line runner just you can replace with application runner here now, now try to see here application runner now it is accepting some uh, run methods see add unimplemented methods now this argument is a application arguments now what you can do here okay now try to see the logic i'm developing here uh, first step these arguments you are passing from your application so what you can do let me comment it this one okay um, we can use these details why because these details are common even in the run object so i don't want to uh, type again just you can choose here now here you need to do a small change here try to see now here from the application arguments you can get it from a string array uh, now try to see here now args dot you have a few options non option arguments option names source arguments try to see here the last method i'm choosing here it is returning a string array now let me click the method see it is accept it is return type is a string array now what you can do here try to see string array str equal to that's it now here now this is string array you will fetch four values now try to see str of now what i can do str of zero i'm giving now same thing copy paste with four arguments i will pass my input now try to see here now what you can do here you can use str of okay this is zero index first index second index and one more index i'm passing here now try to see str of three uh, see four values you need to pass from your application now your job is completed now how you need to pass your runtime arguments here right click here run as click run configuration in the run configuration here you need to choose your project which project you are choosing now i'm choosing my application runner interface click and here arguments here you need to pass your arguments you can pass some names this is assume that my first name last name here you can provide an email id okay now random email id just i'm giving and here you can pass your passport number okay now now click apply and close here now this is your first step now i'm running my application now try to see here let me stop the server now now you can see right click run as java application now try to observe the logs now 
uh, see here insert into employee email address first name last name passport number your application is started at port number 8080 now if you want to check now you go ahead and check in your database just go and execute your data now try to see this is my application arguments i am passing now in the run time if you want to change with the different uh, different details if you want to perform you can do that now just right click here run as run configuration application arguments here you can change now let me give some na different names one here one one just i'm providing some new details uh, let me given here some uh, 85 and here some 1 2 3 4 5 6 and giving now just apply close okay now stop your server and right click run as java application now it again it will start your application it will insert your record into employee details now if you want to check from the postman you can go and check uh, here you can take this is your get object we already prepared previously right so same api now you can send it here now see try to see uh, recently which one you inserted see this is one your record is inserted here now i hope you guys are clear of uh, difference between application runner and command line just the difference is syntax different functionality is same if you like this video please like and comment and hit our subscribe button thank you guys we'll see you in the next tutorial